Hello. So we're on our way to uh, Lower Guck. I thought I'd uh, do like a time lapse of the run from uh, the Druid portal to the uh, bottom of the zone. Just as a uh, little interesting tidbit. All right. Is that everybody? This feels like somebody's missing. And it would have probably actually been faster if I would have clicked the portal, but the uh, the book, I mean, in uh, POK, but I like the old zones and the, now that the Druid has some spells, it's a lot, uh, a lot more interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they didn't follow for some reason. Come on, everybody follow. Hello. That's weird. Alright. So it's over on this side of the zone. Nothing in this zone is uh, of any kind of risk to uh, level 40 character except the guards over at Grob. The uh, troll city. Why is he so slow? Does he not have. He does. Auto follow is just being weird. All right. So we'll do a little pass through uh, Upper Guck, see if there's anything named up. I don't think I got tracking on the Druid, so that might might not be uh, as worthwhile as I thought it'd be. See if we can not get stuck on any of these trees as we make our way. And I'm going to speed it up from this point on. Talk about a lucky, uh, lucky drop. We got a uh, rune bone fork, which is uh, one of the best, uh, best in slot range items for uh, tanking when it comes to killing dragons in classic. It's uh, ten resist magic, fire, and cold. So, real lucky on that. I've actually never been able to get any of those get one of those in uh, any of my playthroughs without an excessive amount of uh, camping. But I'm gonna pop out again and let this uh, speed up. And we are in the ruins of Old Guck, aka Guck Bottom. All right. Uh, so, our first order of business here is going to be getting down to the dead side. And here, where is it? Yeah, right here. We're going to go to the Ghoul Assassin and Ghoul Supplier area first and try to get some masks. I like to go down to the safe hall 
Where is that? It's like right around. Yeah, right here. That's where I like to camp. Mostly because I can AFK and I don't have to worry. And I can just like invisim dead, get up here, and get what I need to do. But uh, the ghoul assassin in this version of the server currently drops the guys. So I should be able to pick up at least two of those for the ogres. And then uh, all the other goodies that spawn here. And then when we get about 45 to 46, I'll start going for the frenzied ghoul and the uh, ghoul arc magus, magnus, magus, and magus, and the ghoul orb. And he's, he, the fear that he does is kind of annoying, so kind of wait on that. So I am going to get shrunk and uh, start my way down into the bedroom. Where is that? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. It's the bedroom. Stairs, spider room, bedroom. There it is. So we're here. We're going to go down this way and then get there. All right, follow off. Let's grab this first one. There's uh, uh, maybe six or seven mobs, maybe less. They're all lower level, so they're pretty easy. Especially if the uh, group we have is pretty strong. Are they attacking? Where's the rogue? There he is. Yeah, he's. This poison does 1400 damage now, so it's kind of uh, insane. And I, I, I turn the uh, the gnome chanter. I use an illusion to a dark elf. If anybody's wondering why, I suddenly turned into a dark elf. I was just kind of sick of looking at. Uh, where to go? Sick of looking at the gnome. <laughs> All right. Looks like we could probably move up to the next spot. The hardest part for me breaking multi box with this part is once you get to the bedroom, breaking into past the uh, greater ice bones. I've always had issue with that, but. I've done this at level 33 before, and that was that was pretty intense, but hopefully we should be able to uh, see if I can get this wizard. I have no problems. Where? Where'd they go? I don't see the melee. Well, I'm rooted, so let's see where he's at. He's right here. Attack. We shouldn't have any problems, really, because they should be all light blue. Just a matter of having the enchanter at full mana when we start. And she needs mana now. What is this? Blue, this, and a shin. Should be good. What are they? She has... She's... Buffed up, right? Clarity, three minutes. So that's gonna, gonna have a little downtime for that. Let's go ahead and pull this just so we can move up. The spawn right here is like 20, 24 minutes. I'm gonna really time it. Stuff just dies and then comes back. So yeah. We're pretty lucky with the rogue. Uh, come on, let's go up here. The only downside is this part right here. I hate this part. Is uh, it's all underwater <laughs> for a good stretch. Let me see if I can pull up the map. 
Yeah, so you jump in the water here and you have to like swim around and then jump up here on land. And yeah, I don't have any swimming skill at the moment, so it's real, real joy. Uh, you're full mana, wow. What are you doing? <laughs> are you not doing anything? Uh, let's see. Dawkins. Okay, you're good. So you're going to lose clarity in a minute. Let's go ahead and recast your clarity right now. So you have 32 mana, which is a mess cost. 85 mana. It's, okay, you have plenty of mana to mess these three, so we're going to move up. I got to go into first person swimming. So the, the, the warrior should be able to just jump up first and then kill everything. Hopefully everybody else comes up with them. Look, I think we got the cleric. Chanter says she's stuck. She wasn't underwater, so. She's up. She's up. She's up. Perfect. Alright. Let's do follow off. Just get everybody killing this stuff. So she's still good on mana. Now I should be able to solo pull. Well, I got three of them. That's there's just a lot of mobs. It's a interesting spot. Oh shoot! To me. Look to me. Oh man, are we gonna wipe this? We should wipe to this. Wish I could see what's attacking her. I can see that. This one. to let them get a little mana after this. Let's see, this This is the heart, one of the harder pulls in this area. I wouldn't say in the zone, just because there's some other ones that are kind of tricky, but for the most part, at the level that these mobs are blue, or so that it's, it's it's actually a pretty tricky part to do. Without an enchanter, it's really hard because you can get even more mobs. I think there's some more up there too. Can't imagine we got them all though. All right, move there. Okay, it looks like the enchanter leveled, so she got all our mana back. So we don't actually have to mend, and we in fact did get them all. So yeah. Cleric is full, and I have them set up to complete heal me, so only the cleric will heal me until I get to 20%. Alright. Should just do this. Yeah, I got them all. So I'll hit 30% and they will she will start a complete heal. Should have hopefully it, it's working. I didn't really test it. 
So yeah, I got my complete heal. The other characters will heal me when I get to 20%, just in case. And that's just until I can get better heals. Super, superior heal doesn't really work very well, and it's a real pain to get complete heal working for uh, tanks. Due to the way that uh, E3 does everything. How are we doing? You're good. Everybody's good. That was a uh, pretty functional fight. So let's move up. Uh, is that everybody? No, Enchanter is not with us. Where is she? No. And she kind of sticks out better with the uh, Dark Elf Illusion. Alright, two more. We're getting to a tricky, uh, another tricky pull. Typically, you can just invis and de undead versus all this stuff, but I prefer just killing it. So, let's just get this dead. Move to me. Alright, so there's a bunch of mobs right here on the side. It's a wizard. It's like three wizards, I think. And then a gargoyle on, on top. So let me move them actually up here. So I can line a sight that. Uh, yeah, I should be able to mez everything. and That's all I really have her doing. So, so ooh, it's the name too. The Ritualist. So... Yeah, there's two. As long as they path correct, that's one of the issues I've had right here. And I always consider it a bug if it doesn't path right. But yeah, so I got three of them. All three, they're coming. I ignore the pets because you kill the owner and the pet dies. So. So I've done that before and they fall to the ground instead of pathing across the bridge. I know Project EQ did some updates to the pathing, so that seems like that got fixed. But they fall to the ground and they pull everything in the uh, this undead tower right here. It's really annoying. Ooh, embroidered black cape. What's that? Cast right on the shoulders. But we have a good a good level jump on all this stuff, so it's uh not too difficult at the moment. Let's go over. Let's go in here. Now there is a uh let's see one, two, three, one, two, three. Alright. There's three mobs to spawn up the ladder, that's where the assassin spawns, but there are is a roamer, or at least there was last time I did this, a Zol Knight, somewhere around here. I'm not seeing him right at the moment. There, can I? There he is. Oh, they're light blue at this point. Let me make sure I pulled him before. Uh... Before I pull the three up and top, everybody should have good mana by this point. Let's see if I can get an invis on dead from one of these uh, one of these guys, and then Let's see if this works. Let's see if somebody's gonna do it, or maybe uh, invis on dead. an alias for it. I'm just not sure which one it is. Spell, spell aliases. Oh, it's set to... Oh, IVU. The 
That should work. There we go. Someone's gonna cast it on me. So, go up here, see what we're dealing with. We got an supplier and assassin. So, let's tag the assassin. Looks like he's got the mask. Supplier probably has the bag. Got stunned. Come on. Rooted, so I can't do anything about it. Now, I'm probably going to stay here for a mask for at least the two ogres. I'm not concerned about anybody else right now. Yeah, guys, a deceiver and a thick banded belt. Nice. So I'm going to take the first guys, server first. <laughs> That's clear. Now to pull downwards. So I usually just go down and pull what I can. The uh, I probably should go to safe hall and just pull this stuff down there. Honestly, probably work out better. No, he looks like a rogue. <laughs> All right. Should be something else in this room, I believe. Yeah. What do we got here? Zol. Oh, yeah. Four of them. Line of sight while we can. Get up here. It's a blue zone. Okay. And how's experience? Yeah, we're almost 43. So we should hit 50 here before we get everything we need. And you're going for two sashes. Uh, flowing black silk sash. It's a 21% uh, haste item. It's one of, the, one of the first haste items you can get in this game. And then uh, we're gonna go for three short swords of the Akisha. And I'll have uh, the rogue use one of those. And the warrior's gonna use the other two. And then I can't remember what else we need from this zone. Oh, and a shiny metallic robe for the uh, enchanter. But then there's some minor things like the uh, wisdom shoulders and stuff for the cleric. But that stuff just becomes so common really quick. Like. I'll have a bag full of them shortly. Uh, I better get Spirit of the Wolf for our... Oh, he got me through the wall. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I cleared this room, which was right over here. Can't remember if that was a named or not in that spot. And then we come down here, and then we have the crossroad to go to... This is, I think that's the Cavalier. Where am I? Oh, got something coming. Let's bring that back. 
Yeah, I think at my current kill rate, I should probably pull to the safe hall from here. But that was the either I think Cavalier is where that that was, because that's on the floor next to the executioner and uh, the sage. There isn't a whole lot of priest gear in Guck. It's mostly uh, like the, the melee weapons and a few cleric items and some caster stuff. And then a lot of the priest gear is in Najafin's lair. Uh, let's see. Yep. I always get confused sometimes running up and down these this hall. There we go. Hopefully they can get a little mana in between all these pools. Typically, I don't know, whenever I played on live, you're, you're like going through here and there's like nothing alive at all. Yeah, so this is three mobs, all light blue. I guess they're light blue to me, but they should be their wands, so they should be blue still to the rest of the group, I think. I'll check on one of them. One of them is, so yeah, we're getting to that point. Where all the mobs in normal experience places are uh, light blue, and the best experience would be bugs and soul bee. In Najafin's lair, but I'm just not ready, ready for camping that yet. Need a lot more gear, I think. Those uh, imps hit for like 120, 135, and the bugs are a little easier, but the imps are like where the experience is and the actual items of value. Uh, let's see here. that room I think that's where the savant spawns yeah and then here is the executioner let's get those two there's like four or five mobs in that room oh oh we might have to eat this one we can't get up well I mean they're not even doing damage to me never mind <laughs> Chantra should have some mana. So as long as she can mez everything, she should be able to kill it all. No one's dying, and the healer is full mana, so we're good. And I'm in a Berserker Frenzy, so I'll do a little bit more damage. Some critical attacks. But I should... I'm gonna have to get hit before I can, uh, I have to, yeah, so I just went below 30, so a complete heal should be on the way. I think I can hear it casting right now. Yeah, build me for 1966. I have almost 3k hit points. I could probably take that down a little bit more, but I think 30% is a good, a good complete heal place I think when I played a cleric on uh, live I'd always try to go as low as I could sometimes it worked out sometimes it did not 
So let's see. What is you have clarity? Yeah, you, everybody has clarity. Just gonna take a little while. So I'm going to cut it here for a second. Let them met up. Do a few more pulls, and then uh, next uh, next assassin spawn, I'll pop back in. Hello, we're back. So <laughs> it is literally like the next day. I uh, continued up in the, or was it this room right before the assassin for about one and a half spawns, but I, I was ending up clearing this entire tower and just having to run all the way back up and down. So the only mob I need is the assassin. Everything else is on the bottom floor down here. So I moved down to the safe hall right here, which uh, nothing paths through here and it's relatively safe. Hence the name safe hall. And I've just been doing this. I killed the assassin one time and I got the shaman. His uh, guys of the deceiver. And everything seems to be going pretty good. I am probably going to end this episode right here and then start another one. Just because this one is going to be about 30 minutes long after editing all the... Uh, speed running for the uh, getting to here so this will be the, the next one will be the part two and it will cover let's see some more farming here and the frenzied ghoul and some of the archmage and the ghoul lord and then i might do a third video where we go into the live side and i'll show all those spawns so it'd be the evil eye for a mana stone Maybe two, and then uh, go to the Froglock King and pick up uh, a sword and probably a few crowns. Those are always good to have, the resists. But uh, thank you for watching and have a great evening or day, whatever it is for you. Have a great one.